Top 10 features for iPad on iOS 13, iPad OS. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to my top 10 features on iPad with the new iPad OS based on iOS 13. So if I go into settings here, software update you're gonna see we're on ios 13 right here now let me go ahead and show you which ipad i'm on this is the ipad mini fifth generation with apple a12 cpu you can see it up there ipad mini 5 so we got plenty of power on board now you might be wondering what is that mouse doing over there well this is the first feature mouse support comes to the ipad you can see if i go to bluetooth i am connected to the mx master mouse now if i scroll down here down into settings, we go to accessibility, then we go to touch. This comes in the way of assistive touch, the mouse support. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on assistive touch. And if we go down, you can see we also have different things we can do. Like we can change the tracking speed, the zoom pan, drag lock. We also have pointing devices you could change, mouse keys. There's a lot of things you can do in here and you're gonna love with your mouse. So this is really gonna take the iPad productivity up a notch here in iOS 13, iPad OS. So definitely, I'm really loving mouse support right here. So next one is the tighter grid of icons. You can see much more stuff on screen here, so you don't have to swipe through as many pages to find your applications. In addition, you now can display you know, information at a glance here with these widgets right here off to the left. So definitely for people who like to just stay on one screen, have all their apps right there, information right there. This is a nice new feature for the iPad. So just a lot more productive to not have to swipe through as many pages and not have to go over when you could just leave your information right there at a glance. So that's the second top feature on iPad OS, iOS 13. All right, so the next one's gonna be two split screen apps of the same app side by side. So let's open up Safari. You can see Safari is opened up, but maybe you need another Safari open side by side because you're researching something on one side, maybe gotta open up another website on the other side. Let's go ahead and bring this Safari icon over here off to the right and you can see we have two safaris side by side. So this is very useful. In addition, you can also bring up more applications over here off to the side if you want a third app right here. So let me grab this clock right here and uh, let's just bring it in the middle and we can have it right there. Not only that, you also have slide view. So if I go like this, you can slide through these applications and there you go. You even have more multitasking going on right here for iOS 13, the iPad OS. So really, I mean, this stuff is gonna be very productive for people who are constantly on their iPad and they're constantly using multiple apps at once. Okay, so this next feature is going to be very useful and that's the Quick Path keyboard. Now, you cannot use it here right now, at least in this beta, on this initial keyboard. But if I go like this, there you go. You have a floating keyboard that you can move around anywhere you want on screen by dragging it from the bottom. And you can go ahead and just type in whatever you want with the quick path right there. So there you go. I mean, really, this stuff is going to be very useful if you want to use your iPad, you know, on one side, one hand type stuff. And iPad mini is going to be great with this as well. So you kind of get a little iPhone keyboard that floats around wherever you want it, pinch back out to go back to the standard landscape layout. So for number four, new copy and paste pinch features, gestures here when you are selecting text. So we have some text selected right here. I'm gonna take three fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch in, pinch in really quickly. And you can see right there it said copy. Now I'm gonna do the opposite action on a blank space. Boom, so you've seen right there, we are able to pay. I think it's gonna take a little bit of time for you guys to learn how to use that feature, but once you do, it's gonna work flawlessly. So I expect it to get even better in future versions. Overall, this feature is gonna be very useful if you don't wanna use the regular copy and paste functionality for your iPad. All right, so for the next feature is the Safari is now more of a desktop view. Google Docs is a good example right here. If I click on this little A, you can see you can use things just like you could on a desktop and this is the full Google Docs whereas before it would just force you into the mobile application. So that's a good example right there. In addition, you have a download manager. So I was making a little Instagram post on Canva. If I go ahead and hit download, I'm gonna save this as a JPEG. We're gonna download this 
It's preparing the design right here. And you're going to see up here, once I hit download, there's going to be a download manager just like Safari on the Mac. So let's go ahead and download. And you can see up here, there's our downloads right up there. So definitely a lot more desktop like here for your iPad. Now, in addition, you can also go ahead and see that it's a little bit different in the way they've uh, set up the reader mode and stuff like that. So just a little bit different design here. Overall, it's going to be a much more, I would say, Mac-like Safari experience here for iPad, which is awesome. So in iOS 13, the iPad OS gets better support for SD, better file support for reading SSDs, hard drives, and SD cards. So I have an SD card right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the adapter. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this in the lightning port right here. Now take a look on the left side what happens. So let me stick that in there and give it a second and it should read it in just a minute. So you can see now it does read that SD card. I got my DCMI, I can go straight into the files and just open up pictures and videos and transfer it over here to whatever folder I want it in. This is gonna be so great for professionals. Finally, people that wanna use their iPad a little bit more professionally, maybe do some video editing and LumaFusion, stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot easier to get your files over. And finally, the iPad becomes an alternative option, I think, to the MacBook if you're willing to work with some of the things it doesn't give you, but I think it's giving you a lot more than it did before with this feature alone. Now, number seven is just better performance. It's just snappier than it was before with the iPad OS, iOS 13, two times faster app performance. Everything just seems quicker the minute you download it. Even though this is a beta, it's already feeling that way. So I definitely do like what we're gonna see here in performance in iOS 13. I thought 12 was good, but this is gonna be even better. Number eight is long press shortcuts. So if I long press on something right here, you can see that I kind of get this 3D touch like feature here for the iPad. Same here with Safari. If I hold down, show all windows. Same here with the clock. And it's gonna be throughout the system. So this is gonna come to pretty much all iOS 13 devices and iPad OS is no different. So that's a nice little way to shortcut into things on the iPad and it goes at number eight for me. The next one is dark mode. Now I find dark mode to be super useful on any phone that has it. Now having it on the iPad is gonna be great as well because a lot of people use their iPad a lot at nighttime in bed and having dark mode here on the iPad only makes things better, I would say. So definitely loving the dark mode coming to iPad as well. I use it all the time on Mac OS, Mojave, and I'll be using it on Catalina as well. Having it here on the iPad only makes things better for this device. So dark mode comes in at number nine for me. And for number 10, Apple Pencil Markup Anywhere on the screen, wherever you're at on the iPad. So say I'm on YouTube and I wanna share a video I just seen. So I just take the Apple Pencil, which has to be connected by the way, swipe up from the corner and I could just start writing all over. You can also see that the tools have been redesigned for iPad OS and iOS 13 and the latency for the Apple Pencil should be a little bit better uh, when it comes to drawing and stuff like that. So really, that's a pretty great feature. Anywhere you are on the screen, just swipe up from the corner and you could start taking notes right away and sharing off that screenshot to somebody in iMessage. Really nice stuff. So in conclusion, you can tell I'm excited about iPad OS, iOS 13, and these were some of my favorite new features of the software. We did include everything. There are a couple more like Sidecar. You can get new fonts uh, for this iPad as well in the App Store, which are gonna be available later. And there's many more things, there's little things we didn't cover in this video. But these are some of the key features that matter. And you could see that the iPad's productivity in 2019 is gonna go to the next level. And that excites me because forever I felt so limited uh, with the iPad and I knew it was capable of so much more and finally Apple is starting to acknowledge that and uh, this might be the best year ever to pick up an iPad. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this software right here, iPadOS? Is there any features that you want to share below that are awesome that I did not include? Let us know. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here up and you to master your technology. I will catch you all in the very next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.